And no, I'm not impressed at all. When we're talking about the HDR capabilities of the Switch 2, and I'm not just talking about the Switch 2 display, I'm also talking about the HDR experience in docking mode. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Finally, after a long break, I'm back. And as always, before we start, please do me a very big favor. Please like, share and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And now let me explain why HDR is not a great experience on the Switch 2. What I found out is that the maximum peak brightness of the new Nintendo Switch screen is just around 400 to 450 nits. And I found this when I measured the Zelda game and yeah, I was just able to measure around 420 nits. And when you actually start Cyberpunk on the Switch, which I will do a separate video on that game, you can actually see that the maximum peak brightness in the HDR settings menu is locked to maximum 450 nits. So this actually verifies my finding with the colorimeter that this display is just capable of doing 450 nits in HDR mode. And honestly, 450 nits, that's not even close to get a proper HDR experience. This right now is the maximum brightness, what you can set the Switch 2 to, Switch 2 to, you get my point anyway. But again, this is not a proper HDR experience. And the bad news is now this is just an LCD screen. That means it will not display proper or perfect black. So forget about OLED black, okay? Because here you have always Always, let's call it black level rays as well, but because of the backlight of the LCD screen, you have always a black level rays of 0.5 nits. That's way too much to have a proper experience, especially when you play in a darker environment. Okay, my friends, now hopefully you can understand why I'm actually mad, why I'm actually disappointed. I mean, maybe not mad. I, actually, I'm mad because I was expecting so much more and... We're paying a lot of money for the Switch 2 and we're getting a very below average screen in my opinion. And the problem is, and that's the worst part again, um, we're keeping this Switch probably for a very, very long time. I mean, yes, there will be an OLED version at some point and it will hopefully have a much better screen and better HDR capabilities than this screen, but it will take some time before we get this. And then you spend money again. So, I mean, Nintendo, this is not good enough, honestly. So, um, let's talk about HDR quality in the docking mode, because here at least we have proper HDR specular highlights. And as on the PlayStation 5 and also the Xbox series, the Switch 2 is offering HDR system level calibration. We have two pages. The first page is for the maximum peak brightness and specular highlights. And the second page is for setting, I would call it the paper white setting for supported games. So the first page where you set the maximum peak brightness and specular highlights, I have actually verified this. If you follow the instruction or I have followed the instruction on my LG G4 with HGIG enabled and I found that this setting will deliver exactly 1500 nits. The second page again is for the average or paper white setting in supported games. So you can make the whole screen darker or brighter. At this very moment, I have actually not a recommendation for the second screen. Just my recommendation right now is follow the instruction on the first screen. Make sure you set up the maximum peak brightness for your screen in the correct way. The second screen just yeah, adjust this brightness actually as you like it for now. I will come up with better settings most likely over the time. Okay, but now let's take a closer look on some HDR games, what I have tested so far. And please keep in mind, that's just a very brief look at HDR in docked mode or docking mode. I will do proper reviews to most of the HDR supported games in separate videos. And I tested a couple of games so far, like Zelda Breath of the Wild, Cyberpunk 277, Fast Fusion Diablo, and a couple of more. And I like to start talking about Zelda Breath of the Wild because I was expecting a lot in regards of HDR. But 
It is actually a disappointment because in regards of contrast, this game is just not looking good. Even in docked mode, it is not because contrast is very, very important when we're talking about a proper HDR presentation. And here we're lacking contrast a lot because the HDR black level floor, first of all, is not perfect. And then the game looks always washed out due to greatest intent. I mean, that's all what I can call it because there would be, or it is possible actually to make the game look better in regards of this washed out look. But so far, all what I found is actually that the game looks very foggy all the time. We have, on the other hand, very nice specular highlights sometimes, but this is not actually helping the game a lot. So Zelda Breath of the Wild so far, a very big disappointment when it comes to HDR. And then I looked at Cyberpunk 2077 and here we have actually the exact same issue as on the PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox. We have always an HDR black level raise of around 0.05 nits. So if you're now considering that the LCD screen of the Switch 2 can not even display 0.05 nits because we have always a backlight of 0.5 nits, roughly around 0.5 nits, that's actually not a big deal breaker then. But because we're talking about docking mode, it is a big deal breaker because I'm actually playing on my OLED TV where we can have zero nits in regards of the black level floor. But don't get me wrong, the HDR presentation in Cyberpunk 2077 is on the same level as on the PC, Xbox and PlayStation 5. And I consider the HDR presentation in Cyberpunk actually as really good because yeah, despite the fact that we have an HDR black level raise of 0.05 nits, that's not a deal breaker. The really good thing on Cyberpunk is that we have a lot, million of very nice and good looking specular highlights. So for Cyberpunk 2077 on the Switch, I will do a separate video in regards of the best HDR settings because we have actually the exact same HDR settings on the Switch 2 as on the PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox series. And so far the best experience in regards of HDR I had with Fast Fusion because here we have perfect specular highlights, very bright specular highlights and we have actually no issues with the HDR black level floor if needed because this is what we need to consider. Most of the tracks I found are actually looking washed out due to creator's intent. But if there are some tunnels or something like that, this game can actually display zero nits in regards of the black level floor. And we have great contrast in the game. So this is so far my best experience when we're talking about docked HDR on the Switch 2. I tested, of course, a couple of more games, even games where we have no proper or no native HDR support like Diablo. And what I found with Diablo is that even this game does not support HDR natively on the Switch 2. You can use HDR when you set your Switch 2 to HDR always on. So this is very similar, I would say, to the PlayStation 5 feature or even more similar to the Xbox feature Auto HDR. And when you play Diablo in forced HDR in docking mode, you get roughly 1000 nits in specular highlights. Also, the HDR black level floor is very, very good. So in regards of HDR, Diablo, even this game does not support HDR natively, as I found but the HDR presentation is actually pretty good. And the last game I tested was Metroid Prime. And by the way, I'm a big fan of this series and I can't wait for Metroid Prime 4. But what I found is in regards of HDR, the maximum peak brightness in specular highlights or in general is limited to around 400 to 500 nits. So this is most likely due to the fact that this game does not support HDR natively. And because these numbers, 400 to 500 nits, maybe 450 nits sounds very familiar, I think think it is probably restricted by the maximum peak brightness of the LCD screen. Even the Switch 2 is right now in docking mode. But this is yeah, the fact here right now. In regards of the HDR presentation, Metroid Prime is not a very good experience, but still playable. In regards of the HDR black level floor, there are certain situations where we can have a pretty good HDR black level floor, but most of the time, 
this game also looks slightly washed out. Okay, my friends, so this is a very quick introduction of the Switch 2 HDR capabilities and no worries at all, I will do more videos. So just let me know what you like to see more. Do you want to see more HDR related videos or do you like to see maybe performance related videos like um, yeah, Zelda in 30 versus 60 FPS, something like that, because this is actually why I bought the Switch 2. I like to play the Zelda games in 60 FPS and I'm looking forward actually to do more testing in regards of that. So again, let me know in the comment section what you like to see first, HDR, performance videos, whatever. And let me also know what do you think about the HDR capabilities right now of the Switch 2. Again, I am not very much impressed, especially when we're talking about the display. It is way below my expectations, actually. I was expecting much more, especially when we're talking about a very expensive piece of, yeah, toy here actually like this one here and we have or there are better screens or displays out there so nintendo this is just not good enough i'm very very disappointed okay so again let me know what you think and i think that's it for now okay i'm going to work on more videos thank you very much for watching me this time and again don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you